After we talked about electrolyte, electrolyte solution, another important concept that we'll always come across would be so-called electrode. Electrode is a substance or part of the electrochemical system that primarily conduct electrons. And sometimes it can also be electron holes. So that is electrode. Remember we said electrolyte is the substance that conducts charged ions and almost no electrons or electron holes. In comparison, electrode is a part in the electrochemical system that conducts primarily electrons. It can also be electron holes. The electrode serves the purpose of connecting the electrolyte with the external electrical circuit. Remember we said electrochemistry is about the interaction or interrelationship between chemical changes and electrical effects. So that's why we need the electrode to connect the electrolyte which conducts primarily ions, charged ions, positive ions which we call cation and the negative ion which we call anion electrolyte with the external circuit. Could be a light bulb, simple, fully simplicity, could be a another power source. Another function for electrode is at the electrode electrolyte interface. At the electrode electrolyte interface. Remember electrolyte conducts ions, electrode conducts electron. At that interface, the reduction or oxidation reaction would occur. It is at the electrode electrolyte interface where the so-called redox reaction or the reduction oxid and oxidation reactions would occur. We will talk about this uh, more uh, in later section, but the reduction is happening at so-called cathode, while the oxidation is happening at the anode. Depending on the material, they can be classified into different uh, uh, types or categories for electrodes. We can have metallic electrodes, and the material could be nickel, gold, platinum, copper, etc. And there can also be non-metallic electrodes. For example, we can have ceramic electrode, including carbon, can be graphite or carbon black. You come across graphite electrode in many, many batteries as well, including uh, alkaline battery, could also be lithium ion battery. It can also be conducting oxides, such as this one. I would call it strontium doped lanthanum magnesium oxide, or strontium doped lanthanum manganate. It is a ceramic material that can conduct electron or in specifically for this material electron holes. And these ceramic can also be electrode, but they are non-metallic electrode. Electrode can also be polymers, specifically conducting polymers like the common ones including PEDOT and PANI. And all these can be electrode material from metals to non-metallic ceramic and so well as polymers. These are all electrode. And again, electrode conduct primarily electrons and it connects electrolyte 
with outside circuit and at the electrode electrolyte interface is where the redox reduction or oxidation reaction happen.